Now in part A of this question then, we're given the uniform rod here, A to B, and the distance A to C is 0.8 metres. Now, first of all then, we've got to put in the forces. Now being a uniform rod of mass 12 kilograms, we're going to have the weight acting in the middle, so I'll mark that in. That will be 12 G newtons. There's a load placed at C of 8 kilograms, so that's going to, the weight that is, going to act downwards, and that will be a force then of 8 G newtons. And this uniform rod is suspended by two ropes then. Okay, we'll put the forces up here, and there'll be tension in these two ropes. And I'll denote that by T. Now the thing is, because the diagram is not symmetrical, the tensions here will be different. Okay, so I'm going to call this one T subscript A newtons, and this tension here T with the subscript B, and that will be in newtons. Okay, now in this question then, we're asked to find the tension in the rope at B. In other words, to find the TB. And to do that, the best way we can do that is just to take moments about A. And why A? Well, A means that if we take moments about A, because the force, the tension TA, passes through A, it's not going to have any effect in turning the, the rod about A. So, let's take moments about A then. So, I'll put that in as moments about A. And we need a sense for this moment. We need to know which way we're going to have as positive. Now, it doesn't really matter which way, but I'm going to take anti-clockwise as the positive sense. Why? Because the moment produced by this force, the tension at B, is going to be a positive value if we turn about A. Okay, now bearing in mind that moment is force times perpendicular distance to the pivot, okay, or the point we're taking moments about, doing that we would have, first of all, TB multiplied by 2.4. That would be the moment of that force, so we'll put that down as TB multiplied by 2.4. And then we need to take the moment produced by the weight of the uniform rod AB. That would be 12G multiplied by that distance there. Being uniform, that's in the middle, so that would be 1.2. And the sense of that turn is round clockwise. So that would be in the negative sense. So that would be minus 12G, the force, times the distance away from A, which will be 1.2. Next we have the load here, 8G newtons. It wants to turn also in a clockwise direction, about A. So the moment will be the force, 8G, times 0.8. So that will be minus 8G multiplied by 0.8. As I said earlier, this force, TA, passes through A, so that will have no effect in the moment. So the overall moment is zero because the rod is now in equilibrium. So if we work this out then, we've got 2.4 TB here. 2.4 TB. And if you do on the calculator, minus 12G times 1.2 and minus 8G times 0.8, you'll find that you get minus 203.84, and that will equal zero. So all we need to do now is just add 203.84 to both sides, and then divide by 2.4 to give TB equals 203.84 divided now by 2.4. Work that out on a calculator and you find that the tension in B comes out to 84.9 
3 recurring and if you round that up to say 3 ceiling figures you've got 84.9 newtons to 3 significant figures. And that brings us to the end then of part A.